It's tips and trips, new techniques and locations to expand your fishing horizons. Hey everybody, it's Rob Holman with Northwest Fishing Reports. I'm doing something different today. I was talking to Bobby, and Bobby, you said there was something special right in Wenatchee for us to check out. Yeah, it's it's a, a nice small little fishery right here on the uh, the river, just right here in town that uh, you know a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. So what do we got? We're fishing sockeye. So we're fishing sockeye right below Rocky Reach Dam. Um, you know, I've I've fished this hole for probably 20 some years. Um, it's a great evening I do a lot of evening trips um, for folks that you know don't like to get up early in the morning things like that <laughs> right. they want to do a little evening and we've been really um, you know really successful this year most of the stuff is, is you know our basic uh, double D Dodgers uh, they move fantastic in the water up here um, you know they work really well for the sockeye fishers because you're slow trolling um, the squitters and smile blades you know you, you can there's just a plethora of different types of, of, of bead combinations uh, smile blade combinations squitter combinations that you can put together what you are know, you looking for you're fishing the action of your rod there yeah, you're for that? yeah mostly watching the rod you know seeing what it's doing look at your line angles you know trying to see how deep you're fishing is the fish in the lead you know you don't know exactly how deep you are unless you hit bottom then you do Every day is going to be a little bit different according to water, you know, clarity, temperature, sure. the amount of water going through. But, you know, at any given time, I mean, these fish, you know, you're only looking at 8, 10, 12 feet. Sure. You know, 14 feet. Right. Typically, I've been running all four ounce lead up here and then got them out different depths on the line counters, kind of, and they've all been working just fine. Um, you know, you're close to the bank here, so there's a big shelf that comes out. There's a lot of ups and downs through here, so you really got to pay attention and be careful what you're doing. But um, Bobby said the other night they were catching something a little bit shallower in here, so we threw on a couple three ounce on this. This side because it's our shallower side. Mike, I know your team takedown, so what's the takedown we're looking for? Takedown, you're right, waiting for that rod to bury. Seeing that rod, you know, that action, that fish just slamming that rod and going for it. Suck eye action. <laughs> These are the same kind of fish going all the way up. So they're averaging three, three pounds, four pounds. Yeah, close, somewhere right in that range. Nice double D Dodger and a squitter setup. This is one of the uh, one of the squitter setups that we uh, that we sell. So that's a great fish. And what's interesting, Mike, is can you show the viewers at home that leader length? You've you mentioned that a lot of guys miss on that. They do. A lot of guys, you know. I mean, that's. Probably 13, 14 inches there. Um, you don't really want them much longer than that. Sometimes shorter is better. But um, yeah, keeping them short because this Dodger's giving it some action, You're moving that bait around quite a bit. Um, that's what these fish are after. They're after that, uh, that, that radic movement.